So there's a handful of basic principles that I kind of live by when it comes to painting bodies. The first one is color selection is the most important aspect of the body. If you don't pick colors that go together, the body's going to look like crap. The second one is, is the design of all the shapes and uh, paint zones on the body. They're critical, but they're definitely not as critical as color selection. And then third is the quality of the paint job. Now, we're always going to strive to do a good job. But, you know, if you're peeling some masking up and you don't get a real crisp edge or you make some other mistake while painting the body, um, it's really not going to be that critical or noticeable. And then the fourth and kind of final point is, is to just never give up. If you screw up painting the body, just keep on trying to finish painting the body and keep on trying to do as good of a job as possible. One of the things that you'll notice is, is from like 20 feet away, those mistakes just aren't noticeable. And then once you beat up the body and it gets dirty and so on and so forth, it's really, uh, the, it's just not going to be that noticeable, your mistakes. And a really good example of this is, the bo is this body right here. Now, I painted this body completely with a paintbrush. And from a distance... I mean, it doesn't look great, but it doesn't look terrible. But let me tell you, you know, the paint lines, because I didn't do any masking, were all done by hand. And um, it just up close, it looked horrific. But from a distance, it didn't look that bad. And so again, you know, never give up. So something I'd like to say about color selection is when you're selecting your base colors, you always want them to be you know as bright as possible and it'll just make the vehicle much easier to see if you choose dark colors under certain lighting conditions it can make the car very hard to see on the track if you have an eye for color figuring out what colors to paint your body is not going to be a problem but for the rest of us i highly recommend that you go online and you just look at pictures of bodies that other people have painted so you can see what colors work well together and then like kind of what designs those colors work well with and then you can see the body kind of painted in its entirety to see how the colors work. Once I have a rough idea of the colors and patterns I want to use, I go ahead and I like to paint these test samples. And these test samples are painted on a piece of acrylic from Home Depot or wherever. And then on my vinyl cutter, I cut out an entire paint job. And then I just apply these vinyl masks down. And what this does is, is it allows you to see how all the colors work together and instead of taking all the time to paint an actual body, you're just going to be messing up a $4 piece of acrylic from Home Depot and you're going to use a heck of a lot less paint and you can also usually fit two paint jobs on one piece of acrylic. And so you can do a lot of paint jobs quite quickly and you can actually see how the colors work together. Another very important concept when selecting colors is when we go across the different paint zones, we always want to go light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. So in this example here, you can see we're going light, dark, light, dark, and everything sticks out really vividly. You can see everything that we've masked. In this example here, we have this Sweep Racing logo where I've gone, you know, light, light, light all over the sweep racing logo and so in this instance we put all this work into painting this logo into the body and you can't see it and then on these other two bodies I've done some stuff right and some stuff wrong you'll notice like the SH and the Bluebird logos I've gone light dark um, light and you can see them very vividly however around the windows you can see I've gone light light and so the offsets that are around the windows, what I really should have done is outlined those in orange because the white and the yellow are actually both quite light and so you don't really see the detail and particularly if you're like 20 or 30 feet away you really don't see it. And so that's kind of a key thing that you really want to look for when you're picking out the order that you're doing colors. Most any store that sells real art supplies will have one of these inexpensive color wheels you can pick up. And these things do come in pretty handy with trying to figure out what colors go with other colors. One of the main points that I'm trying to make here is that color selection is very critical. I have painted more than a couple of bodies that looked really terrible and it was completely because of the colors that I chose. The other point that I'd also like to kind of emphasize is that you don't necessarily need this really elaborate paint scheme as far as, you know, shapes and this, that, and the other. 
a lot of times if you just pick a handful of really good colors that really work together, that's all you really need to have a really fantastic looking body. It has been scientifically proven that by subscribing to this channel, you will become marginally less marginal. Bye.